what we will be showing you during this video. We will take the layout from the last video and quickly hack it into an advent candle holder. And it will also show you how to create basing tooling for that new layout. This is the end layout that we had from our last video. Now it looks pretty nice as a fall centerpiece, but it also would look really great as an advent candle holder. So let's quickly show you how to hack that together. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to our modeling tab and we're gonna hide the fall wreath. Then we're gonna go back to our 2D mode and we're gonna go ahead and delete the vectors that we used for V carving and delete this outside line that we used for our profile cut. Let's go back to our 3D view again and let's go over to our clip art tab and let's look at our home for the holidays number one project. We have a fur wreath, so let's bring in that fur wreath. And because these, these have been smartly modeled, then we should easily be able to scale this up to the proper dimensions and it should fit perfectly. So let's just go ahead and do that. So let's go to our drawing tab and let's size it up to be 16 and a half inches, just like we did with the fall wreath. And then we're gonna go ahead and change the shape height to be the same as the fall wreath was, 0.6. You'll see it fits in there just perfectly the way it should have been to begin with. Now let's, let's add a little bit more to this by going back to our clip art tab and going to our home for the holidays number four, or sorry, number three project. And we're gonna double click on the bell and the bell will come right into the center of our job space. We're gonna go ahead and change that size, we're gonna to go to our drawing tab, and we're gonna go ahead and size that to be two inches. Apply, close that down. We're gonna bring that up to a shape height to that to be 0.6. And then we're gonna move that up here. Now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna visually put these into place, rotate them around, as soon as they're already set to be merged, and I'll just merge in nicely with our fur wreath. If I hold down the control key and drag the, the bell across, it'll make a copy of it. So I can just easily rotate that around and make it look sort of random. And we're gonna do that again down here. Again, I just held down the control key and then use the rotate handle to rotate that into place. I'll do it one more time over here and we'll rotate that around and put it into place. And that looks pretty good. So let's go back to our 2D view again. Now let's go ahead and import in some new V carving for the center ribbon. So we're gonna import, import in vectors. We're gonna use our outlines here for hope, joy, and peace. We're gonna right click on those and we're gonna group those together. It'll make it a little easier when we go to tool this um, when we select those to do our V carving. And there we have it, a nice new layout in no time at all for an advent candle holder, which looks pretty darn good. Let's go ahead and update that tooling for this new layout. So the first thing we need to do is we need to get an outline. So we're gonna go ahead and shift select all of the components that make up the outside edge of this layout. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. And we're gonna click on our modeling tab and get an outline for that. That's perfect. And then we're gonna go ahead and unselect everything and then select the outline. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna ungroup that. And when we ungroup that, all of those little bits will break away. But we're gonna hold down the shift key and we wanna click this outside edge. And what that will do is we'll deselect it. So all we have left is the center stuff selected. So we're gonna go ahead and press delete on that. Now we have a nice outline for you. So let's go ahead and, and I'm gonna undo all those steps and we're gonna redo that again for you. So to get an outline, we're gonna go ahead and shift select all of the parts or all of the components that make up the outside edge like that. We're gonna go ahead and create an outline. We're gonna unselect everything so we can select that outline that it's just created. We're gonna right click on that. We're gonna to go to ungroup ungroup onto original object layers. We're gonna hold down the shift key and only select the outside line. And that way it will deselect it from the group. And we're gonna delete that. And now all we have left is our outline that we need. 
So let's just go ahead and press F12 to bring up our tooling. And uh, we're going to go ahead and flip to our 3D view for a sec. Oh, everything looks great. Just checking to make sure everything's fine. And back to our 2D view again. Now we're going to start by recalculating all these tool paths. We're going to go ahead and double click on a roughing pass. And we need to make sure that we select this new outline. And we're going to flip to our 3D view and we're going to go calculate. Now I could have split the screen if I wanted to. Maybe we'll do that for the next step. Now you'll see that we have our preview left from our last uh, tooling preview. So we're going to go ahead and reset that preview. And now we're going to preview this visible toolpath. There we go. That looks pretty good. Close. And then we're going to go back to our 2D view again, and we're going to do our finishing pass. So we need to reselect that outline, and we're going to use all the same settings. We're just telling VCAR Pro that we want it to use this new outline. All the settings are exactly the same. Calculate that up. And with the extra detail of the, um, the fur branches here, it will take a little bit longer to generate the tooling for it. But a few things to keep in mind is that um, this would be great for uh, Christmas. You can change the the, the V carving in the center to be more for um, for church, or maybe even um, you could use it for a family centerpiece for your table. Okay, that's great. Now we're going to preview that visible toolpath, and we'll see it all get cleaned up quite nicely. Looks really good. Let's close that. Go back to our 2D view. We're going to collect up our text for v-carving. Oh, we'll reselect that again. All the settings are exactly the same. We're going to calculate that. We'll preview that. That looks good. I close that down. Now we're going to go ahead and go and do our profile cut. Bring up that toolpath and then we're going to select this new outline and everything is exactly the same um, except for we're going to need to go put in our tabs. Let's edit our tabs we're going to add those tabs in. That's the only thing we're going to have to fix. We're going to run those tabs around where they belong because it's a brand new outline that we're using. And we're going to go close and we're going to go ahead and calculate that. And let's uh, preview that toolpath. And there we have a nice new centerpiece or advent centerpiece for our table. And that looks pretty good after you get done Popping that out of the waste material is going to look pretty nice when it's all done. Now we did this layout. If we close the uh, tooling stuff and bring back up by pressing F11, bring back up our modeling tab, you'll remember that we had hidden the fall wreath. So we can easily build back up our fall um, centerpiece again by hiding the jingle bells hiding the fur wreath and then reshowing the fall wreath and we're back to where we started from and all that is contained in one file so you can easily um, move back and forth between the two you could import in your um, your your uh, your v carving text on the two different um, uh, vector layers and you could hide and show those depending on what you were going to do and you could create new tooling um, every time Important note, if you plan to create tooling and run it on your CNC, make sure that you use values for the material setup and for the parameters of each toolpath that are safe and appropriate for your CNC machine, the tooling you have available, and whatever material you are planning to use for your project. We just saw in a nutshell, we hacked the layout from the last video and made an advent candle holder. We hit models in the component tree and imported in new ones. We imported in preformatted text for v-carving, and we created basic tooling by editing the tooling from the original layout.